Hi, it's John here from GPS Trade. Welcome to the latest edition of FAQs. In this series of videos, I answer the most frequently asked questions I get asked about a specific subject. And the subject we're going to be discussing in this video is two-way satellite communicators. What are the main differences between all of the products? It's a big old subject this. So this time I'm gonna be answering 10 questions. The main reason for this video is, in the last few months there's been a new player called the Motorola Defy Satellite Link. It works and acts in a very different way than any other product on the marketplace. So what I'm gonna try and do in this FAQ is to help you understand how it's different, the good points about it, the downsides about it, and I'm gonna do that by answering 10 simple questions. First question is, what are two-way satellite communicators? Second question is, what products am I talking about that are in this category? Third question is, do I need a contract to work with them? Fourth question is, do they use the same satellite system to send and receive messages? Fifth question is, does the satellite network affect the performance in any way? Sixth question is, do they work anywhere in the world? E.g. can I just use them anywhere? And then the seventh question is, can I actually use them in every country? Which is slightly different than the question before. Question number eight is, do the satellite communicators send and receive messages instantaneously? Ninth question is, can the two-way satellite message be used to navigate with? And the final question, question number 10 is, which is best? So the first question is, what are two-way satellite communicators? Exactly what they say, but not quite as, as I've just said. They're, they're what we call hybrid devices. So it's a, enabled to send and receive messages, both via the satellite and also via a mobile phone signal. They do this to keep the cost down. Sending and receiving messages via the satellite is quite an expensive way of doing it. So these devices, if you have a mobile phone signal, they'll use your mobile phone signal to send and receive messages. If you don't, they'll actually send and receive them via the satellite ship. A number of the devices also have tracking. A tracking is a way that other people that you share your loc you want to share your location with can see exactly where you are. All the devices also have what we call an SOS button, which means that you can press this anywhere within the world. This is managed by a rescue uh, center and they will manage your rescue as long as you've got an insurance policy as if you're outside the UK. If you're inside the UK, you'll be rescued by Mountain Rescue or the NHS if it's an ambulance situation. Um, if you're outside the UK, you will need an insurance policy to manage that rescue. So again, within the, um, the software that you um, set up all your messages and etc., you'll put your insurance details in there and that's, that's how they will liaise with your insurance company if there is a rescue. So they, they, they're, a, they're able to send and receive messages. A number of them do live tracking and they all have an SOS button. Number two, what products am I talking about? Okay. Garmin InReach uh, Mini is the, one of the products that we're talking about. Garmin Messenger is another product we're talking about. Montana 700i is a large screen GPS unit from Garmin that is both a navigator and also a two-way satellite communicator. Garmin GPS Map 66i, in this case 67i. Zolio is a two-way satellite communicator, again, not a Garmin product. And finally, I've already mentioned is the Motorola Defy satellite link. So those are the products that we're discussing in this FAQs. Question number three, do I need a contract for them to work? Yes, you do. Think of it like a mobile phone contract. So you sign up and they all work in slightly different ways. Um, a number of them will cost 200 pounds a year. So the Zolio and GOM products will cost just over 200 pounds a year. It's like a mobile phone contract. You pay on a monthly basis or you can pay for the year ahead of yourselves and you get allocated a number of messages. I'm not gonna go into the contracts in detail because it's quite a big subject. So that's how, how they work. Alternatively, a Motorola Defy, when you buy the unit, it actually comes bundled in with the first year contract. And then going forward, the contract is going to be around £59 a year 
for going forward. So this is significantly cheaper. This is why I'm doing the video. It's really throwing a spanner in the works of two-way satellite communicator, but this device is very different than the other devices that I've mentioned. If you've got a Garmin GPS Map 67i or a Motorola 700i or a 750i, uh, sorry, Montana 700i, 750i, um, you can use these just solely as navigational devices without the need to activate the two-way satellite communicator and then you can activate them when you see fit or if you're going on an expedition or something along those lines. So the answer to the question is do we need a contract? Yes, we need a contract and it does vary quite a bit in price. Question number four, do they all use the same satellite system to send and receive messages? The answer is no, they do not. And this is one of the key differences. The Garmin products and also the Zolio products use what we call the Iridium satellite system. This is the low orbit satellite system, which has been used for years for sat phones and other communications via satellites. So these use the Iridium, which is the low orbit satellite. Motorola uses what's called In Inmarsat an Echo Star. Now this is a geostationary um, satellite system. Geostationary means that it's a fixed point in the sky. If you in the UK and you've got a sky satellite dish, it looks as a fit point, a fixed point in the sky and logs onto the satellites. This is what the uh, Motorola does, which has pros on it and also cons of it compared to the original satellite system. So those are the two satellite systems that these devices, uh, well the three satellite systems these devices use. Question number five, does the satellite network affect the performance in any way? This is the big difference, hence the price difference that we've had in one of the earlier questions. So we've got geostationary, which is this, which is pointed at a fixed point in the ground compared to the low orbit where the satellites pass over through the sky. So, big difference between the, each of these is positives of geostationary, it's always logged on to the satellite. So this is always gonna be logged onto the satellite, but it, the satellite is a fixed point in the sky. In our case in the UK, it's kind of due south, looking south in the sky. So this is the problem, but also the benefits of this. Nice thing about it, always logged on, it's gonna send and receive messages instantaneously, and you can see it's logged on. But the problem is, because this unit needs to look south, if you fall down a cliff and the cliff is directly to your south, you will never ever get a satellite pickup. So if you fall down a cliff or down a, a crevasse or something like this, if you can't look south of this two-way satellite communication, you will never get a signal to send and receive messages. So unless you've got a mobile phone signal, this product I'm not is useless. I suppose I've got to say it's useless because it will not work. When you're using a Zolio or a Garmin, which is using the Iridium, where the satellites pass, over, pass through the sky, these will get a signal at some point. Now, it might not get it instantaneously, because it will have to wait till the satellite comes above you, looks down the crevasse, or, or wherever you've, the cliff face that you've, 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 you've slipped behind, but it will get a satellite signal as it passes over to send and receive the message. And this is with the difference in the price difference between each of the contracts that we looked at a little bit before, where the Motorola will work in most circumstances if you're off, if you, if you see kayaking just off the coast or something along those lines, it's always gonna have a clear view of the sky. If you're walking in the hills, this is where these products with this um, more top-end satellite system that it's using will come into the road. So that's one of the key differences between the two products. Question number six is, do they cover everywhere in the world? Can I use them everywhere? Answer is yes and no. So yes is Garmin and Zolio. Garmin and Zolio will work anywhere in the world. So again, this is a number of satellites up there. As they move around the earth, you will always get a satellite signal with it. Motorola, answer is no, it will not always work everywhere in the world. Key thing is it'll only cover land mass. So if you're someone who's going to um, sail across the Atlantic, you need a Garmin or a Zolio product. This works on land mass. And because it's working off fixed satellites, in the sky, it's gonna have that clear view of the satellite. So again, what I'm, the only way to get around this, I can link below to a coverage map. Again, 
as, as this product develops, they will go into further uh, other areas around the world. So the key thing is, Garmin and Zolio work anywhere, both onshore and offshore. Um, the, the Motorola will only work in specific areas and it's, it's only ever going to be on landmass. They're not going to cover the uh, sea areas. Question number seven, can you use them in every country? It's quite an interesting question this, because actually, even though the Garmin and Zodio work anywhere in the world, you, by law, cannot use them anywhere in the world. They're banned in a number of countries. So, um, I'm not going to go through countries, I'll leave a, a, a list below, but it's things like Afghanistan, Iran, North Korea, etc. But there's a few odd ones in India, will ban these. So, they're banned for whatever reason. Um, if you go into that country, um, you will get them removed from you. We have a number of people who have tried to take two-way satellite communicators into foreign countries. As you go through customs, they will remove them from you. So just be aware, something like a 67i Montana 7i, you might be taken solely with you to communicate, to, to navigate with, because these are navigation devices as well as two-way satellite communicators. But if you go through customs in India, for example, you will have this removed from you because this two-way satellite communication is actually banned within those country. Question number eight. Do those two-way satellite communicators send and receive messages instantaneously? Yes and no. So, as we've already discussed, as long as discussed with the Motorola, because it's always logged on to the satellites, it will actually send and receive messages instantaneously, just like a mobile phone will. Now, you've kind of got, still got good battery life, still got three or four days battery life with this product, but it's always logged on satellite. As long as you can see the satellite, send and receive messages straight away. Garmin and Zolio work in a slightly different way. They, first of all, need to find a satellite. It's usually very quick that they find a satellite, but these have got absolutely phenomenal battery uh, capabilities and that's due to them not always being online. So let's think about the Garmin first. Garmin um, products, how do they work? So you send a message for the first 10 minutes after sending that message it's always checking for messages e.g. it's expecting someone to reply to the message that you've sent. Once that 10 minutes is up this will actually only check for messages every hour okay Alternatively, if you're using what's called live tracking on this, which will come to another question, if you're live tracking, if you send a track point every 12 minutes or every half an hour or something like that, it will also check for messages when it sends that track point. But the key thing with this is, is because it only goes live every you no know, hour to check and receive messages, the battery life on this is I've got a staggering 46 days on it. So if you're going off grid, this is a really great product for that because it's 46 days battery life. If you're using live tracking, it's maybe saying track points every half an hour, it's checking for those messages every half hour. But the key thing is when you send a message, it's going live for 10 minutes because it's expecting someone to respond to you. The Zolio, on the other hand, um, checks for messages uh, for two minutes after you've first sent that message. And then by default, it set checks for messages every 12 minutes it does. Okay, a little bit reduced battery life on the back of that, but again with the Zolio, you still get a staggering battery life on there. So this can, you can, within the Zolio, you can set up, within the settings of the unit, how often you want to check for messages. By default, it's set up to check for every 12 minutes. It's an odd number, but hey, I don't know why that is. Question number nine. Can the two-way satellite messages be used to navigate with? Um, the Garmin GPS Map 67i, also the 66i, the Montana 700i, 750i are primarily a navigation GPS with the addition of two-way satellite communication. So with these products, yes, you can navigate with them and they have a really fantastic navigation experience. And again, this is primarily a navigation device with the addition of two-way satellite communication added onto it. The other one as well, which not many people know about, is Garmin InReach Mini 2. Also, you can navigate using the Garmin InReach Mini 2 as well. Very basic navigation, literally just follow an arrow on the screen, a course, a route, a track, however we transferred it to. Um, but it's kind of 
it's more, the navigation experience is more like we find on the Trex SE, which is a real basic unit, but you can navigate it. What I kind of think is, if you've got a GPS unit, a normal Garmin GPS Map 67 or something like that, and you want to back up to navigate with, why not transfer your course or your route or your track onto your InReach Mini, and then you've got a backup device just in case something goes wrong. But with the Garmin InReach Messenger, Zolio, Motorola, etc., etc., you cannot navigate with those devices at this time. So that comes to my final question, which is, which is best? <laughs> Sadly, it's, 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 a, it's a hard, hard question, isn't it? It's like actually, what is the best car? The best car is a million pound such and such a thing, but not many of us afford that million pound X, Y, and Z. I always say in the nice possible ways, and I, I like comparing these to cars, the Motorola Defy satellite link, £159.99 with the first year contract in with free. Nice thing about this product is they give you your messages, your 250 satellite messages. If you want them at the start of the year, you can use them erratically. So you can use it intensively, sorry, for a month or two. And then if you want to, you can buy top-up bundles. And then the following year for another £59, you can buy it there. So this is kind of, in the nice possible way, the Ford of the car world. Nothing wrong with it. Great value for money. Works Great, but just know the downsides of the Motorola is it needs to be pointing at a fixed point in the sky. And if you are in a situation where you cannot see southerly in the sky or to the south, you will struggle with the Motorola, but fantastic value for money. Now, when we talk about Zolios and Garmin in reach products, these are the Mercedes of the car world, aren't they? These are fantastic, good quality, using the Iridium satellite system, which is always going to work. Wherever you get in situation, these will work. So again, if you're, it, these, these get used on Everest, these get used in really the harshest of terrain anywhere in the world, they'll always work. But they do come at a premium price, both to buy, and also for the satellite contracts. So it's really, it's, it's up to you. The more you spend, the better it is, but there's nothing wrong with a entry level to a satellite communicator to see how you get on. The reality is we sell far more of these due to the price point than we do with the Garmin and the Zolio products, but actually which ones are best? Of course the Garmin and the Zolio products are better because it's using better technology and that's the reason why but it, that's the reason it costs that little bit more. Best way forward for you guys, I always say is, you know what, I'm gonna to link to them below. What's the walk and talk videos? I do this walk and talk series on YouTube where I go walking with each of these products. You know, I go and put them through the paces. You know, I think I did a 33 mile walk with the uh, with this product, which is where you can do. I've actually done a walk and talk, I think in the whole of the North London Coast Pass with the Zolio which is 56 miles and then you know, all in one go. And that's really where you push these to the basics. I've done a number of walk and talks with the Motorola as well, but all the products I've done them. So I would watch the walk and talk videos on each of these products and see see them working in the field, see the good sides of it and see also see any, any negatives. And this honest 20, 25 minute review when I go out and use the walk and talk with each of these products. I very much hope uh, you've enjoyed the latest FAQs. As I said, it's a really big subject uh, to talk about, but it's worth discussing the differences between each of these products. If you've got any, any, any thoughts about subjects you'd like to cover in future FAQs, please, um, please drop a comment in the comment box below. And also, if you've used any of these products, leave also, can you leave a comment in the comment box below about your experiences, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and that will hopefully help other watchers after they watch this video. And finally, many thanks for your continued support to you guys um, th that you guys give us here at GPS Training. Without you guys supporting us, buying products, buying support packages, offers, etc., we would not be here. So, for not only myself but the whole team here at GPS Training, many thanks.